In today's video, we're going to be setting up a Flux node on a VPS using the service Host My Flux. Now, I first heard about this service from my friends inside the Sleep Money Discord server. How you doing? Good to see ya. It's now free to join. I'll make sure I link that in the description. The installation steps is pretty straightforward. It's been hassle free for me. I'll walk you through the setup step by step. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm inside my Zellcore wallet. Now, if you don't have the Zellcore wallet installed, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through the steps of setting it up. So as you know, and I've explained in my tutorial, you have a few different wallets, I believe six in total, that are defaulted into the app. So I have a few up here at the top. I've labeled the first three, one as funds, one for NFTs, and this one's for my Flux node. Inside my Flux node wallet, I have exactly 1,000 Flux. When you're transferring in the amount into your wallet, you wanna make sure you send in the exact amount. In this case, I'm doing a cumulus node, so I need 1,000 flux. Uh, you don't want to send it in separate transactions like 600 plus 400. You want to do it all at once. So that's very important to note. Make sure you do the transaction all in one shot. This is 1,000 flux, and we have that set up. I'm ready to go on to the next step, and that means I'm going to go over here into the app section. And inside the app section, we have a, a bunch of different apps in here. You want to look for the one that says flux nodes. Once you see that, you can go ahead and click on that, and you'll get a little map that pops up over here. This node section is automatically going to create a tier over here which is the cumulus one it says it's offline but this wouldn't be here unless i didn't put the exact amount in of uh, 1000 flux so it appears now i just have to click on the expand option over here it gives me the address and collateral and it gives you some confirmation information what we're going to need to do next is click on the edit button and we're going to need to get a few details here and there's three things that we're going to want to get we're going to want to get the identity key we're going to want to get the collateral id and then the output index you all you have to do is just just double click on these fields and I'll automatically copy it and then you can paste it into a text file like I have. I'm going to jump over to the next step now that I've copied everything over. Okay, so I'm going to start by opening up my browser. I'm using a referral link. I'll make sure I put a referral link in the description below that'll save on some of the startup costs here. And you can see that the referral code was accepted. I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to be signing up. So I'm going to click on the sign up link right over here and I'm going to be putting in my email address and I'll be creating a password. Just take a moment here while I do that. Okay, and once you have all that information in you can go ahead and click on the sign up link right over here so it sent a verification email just gonna go into my email account I've clicked on the verification email and I can go back into the login screen and click on login. And I am now in here, go to the dashboard and it says, I don't have any subscriptions yet. I'm gonna be selecting out of the three, I'm gonna be selecting the Cumulus node. They have the option for annual or monthly pricing. We'll just go ahead and click on buy now. And this is where it's asking for the information to set up your node. So you have the identity key, the collateral ID and the output index. And then you need your Zell core key or your Zell ID and then your KDA address. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in those details right now. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and enter in our payment information. I'm located in Canada, so I'm going to put in some credit card information. I'm doing the monthly plan, and the reason why I'm doing the monthly plan is because I'm testing this out, make sure everything is working the way it's advertised. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in that information, and I'll jump over to the next step. Order's complete. Thank you for your business. We'll go back to our dashboard screen right over here. So we have a new section over here under the dashboard. It's loading. Okay, and it takes about five minutes to get your node up and running. I just received confirmation from Jonathan at Host myflux.com that's provided me with a URL to get my benchmarks and everything else in there. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and I will open up a new tab in here and I'll paste it in and enter it. And you can see the status where I can get my benchmark information. Uh, the status is the Cumulus node architecture is AMD 64 bit. So I'm up and running. It is very straightforward. So I'm just jumping back into my wallet. Now that we confirmed the host is up and running, the last step we need to do is start our node. So I'm over here in my Zellcore wallet again. I'm gonna go into the app section and back into Flux nodes. And you can see that we have the Cumulus node right over here. It's offline. We just got to expand the list over here. Okay, and just got to put in an alias in here. So I'm gonna enter in a name. For the IP address, you can just put in 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0, .0. It'll automatically update the IP address. That's pretty much it. You just have to click on save and then we can go ahead and start our node. Before we start up the node, you gotta make sure that your confirmations are at least 100. I have 541. I let this I let this go overnight before I continued the process. Be good to go. I can go ahead and click on the start button right over here, and then we're ready to start our flux node. We can click on start flux node. And as you can see over here, the transaction to start your flux node was successfully sent. It'll take one block to be mined for your flux node status to change from started to confirmed. This is gonna take about two to 20 minutes. So what I'll do is I'll jump over to 
to the next part where the status has changed. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. I have logged back in and you can see that there is now an IP address over here. The status is confirmed. You can see over here in the top left hand corner, we now have a total amount of one and my cumulus node is now listed there. So it looks like everything is up and running. We have a node online and, and that's how you do it. That's how you set up a flux node on a VPS server. We're using host my flux. All the links will be in the description below. If you need any help, you can put them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. I also put in the host my flux discord. They're very responsive over there. So if there's any questions I can't answer, you can always jump on the discord and ask them before you jump into the project. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.